Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video and it's Salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel Alright so Pearly Things found herself clashing with Candace Owens when Candace tweeted that pornography should be banned as it hurts men Pearl disagreed and stated that she doesn't seem to think corn is that bad due to more pressing issues within the pro-female empowerment secular culture in the West and that a better solution than banning corn would be arranged marriages at a young age for both men and women. I find myself agreeing with both of them somewhat due to the Islamic stance on pornography being haram and because of all Muslim marriages having some element of being arranged between families if not completely. However I disagree with Pearl's tolerant stance on pornography and agree with Candice that it should be completely banned because it is sinful and bad for people especially men. It was Pearl's unsure stance on her stated solution and whether corn should be banned or not that sparked the debate. She seemed uncertain certain due to her western programming about her proposed solution of arranged marriage and made an argument for pornography which again in my opinion there is no benefit for. Let's take a look at the back and forth between Candace and Pearl. I got a response from Candace Owens. Candace Owens tweeted ban and I'm going to say pornography. It is a psychological weapon intended to weaken our men. I just have a little bit of a different point of view. It seemed to have triggered Candace a little. So automatically if a man is looking at corn, her view is that he is a pervert. Am I the bad guy for saying, isn't that a little bit extreme, guys? Don't most men do that? Is it like the end of the world? They all seem to be functioning fine. I know it's got harmful side effects. The average age of first marriage for women is 30. Really, when I think of solutions, one option is you could get rid of female choice with arranged marriages. At 16, you could say, hey, you are going to make a family with that guy at 18. It's probably the best solution. Now, here's the problem I see with that. Do you guys want a woman to marry you that doesn't want you? I don't know about you. I'd rather just be by myself than be with someone that doesn't want me. I'm not saying to go to Sharia's law. I'm just saying it's not healthy for people to not have sex until they're 30. There's choices and trade-offs. Choice number one is you could do an arranged marriage. The positives is that's better for society as a whole. We'd see more families. Positive number two is you would see less whores because you're putting people in arranged marriage from the time they're like 16 or 18, whatever you guys think is, you know, depends on your state, right? The con is that you might have a chick that doesn't really want you. Most men I've spoken to wanted to either be in a relationship or marry young. So to that, men are just kind of logical creatures. They're like, you know what? I like this chick from my college. I like this chick from my high school. Let's just build something here. It's kind of hard for me to say, women get married young when I didn't get married young. It's hard for Candace to say, well, women get married young when she got married at 30. Okay, we ban corn tomorrow. What would that really change? I'm a Candace stan. I just think she's wrong about this. They say men should marry virgin. Well, that's ideal if you want good outcomes. Hookup culture is a female problem. Men are not partaking in hookup culture. It's women. We have all the power in our early 20s and teens. 18 to 24, that's when we're the most attractive. Do you see women with all of that power saying, Hey, you know what? Let me go down to the courthouse and marry my high school boyfriend. No, none of us did it. None of them were virgins on their wedding day. Serious question. What are the, the men left out supposed to do until 30? What are they supposed to do? What is their real solution? Seriously. I didn't say ban corn. I don't think that'll, I, I think that's too much of a government overreach. We either force women to marry, and I'm only half comfortable with that. I have a hard time telling someone to marry someone they're not attracted to. I think that's mean. My solution to this would be arranged marriages. That would make the most sense. Good freaking luck. Try it with your kids. <laughs> Let me know how it works. What about when men are deployed? Corn is used as a sedation when men go overseas and are deployed and don't have access to women. What corn actually does is it actually gives men power because they need us less. And what you'll notice is anything that gives men power, conservatives go after. Why do they not have this same energy for social media and dating apps that give women crazy amounts of power? What has been more detrimental to families, social media or corn? Corn is not the downfall of society. It's this. 
social media. It seems as though Pearl was trying to stir the pot here and get a reaction. Like I said, I agree with her in terms of the benefits of arranged marriage, but she revealed her Western programming blind spots by speaking of marriage in the context of love and attraction. In Islam, Muslims are encouraged to look for religious commitment as the first and foremost trait in a spouse, and other characteristics such as beauty, wealth, status and good lineage are secondary. It is not forbidden nor is it frowned upon to look for these secondary characteristics after you find the first one of religious commitment. What better way to do this than arrange marriages and looking at many options. If a man himself has these characteristics and finds a woman that matches him well, attraction will be there as both of them will be chaste and love will come in time, especially if these individuals are guided by Islam and not by modern atheist ideals. Peril can't wrap her head around this due to her Disney romance view of marriage that most Westerners have. That goes for Muslims and non-Muslims. Also if a woman is living Islamically, she will be a virgin before marriage, which Peril seems to think is rare, again due to her conditioning and culture. Muslim families have been successfully arranging marriages for their kids for generations upon generations until the modern day peril. However, I agree with the benefits peril listed of arranged marriages, as in it would keep both men and women chaste, it would result in more families and would benefit society. I have to add that the highest divorce rates are attributed to modern western love marriages, whereas for Islamic arranged marriages the divorce rate is extremely low. But once again, I completely disagree with peril's tolerant stance on pornography. Candice is 100% right on that one. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, stated, the adultery of the eye is the lustful look and Allah SWT tells us in the Quran, tell the believing men to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things. Physical intimacy is only permitted in Islam between a man and woman that are married. Pero also said that corn gives men power and benefits men in the military. Again, I completely disagree with this. Just look at the stats on addiction problems, intimacy problems for men in relationships, problems with social skills in single men, exposure to weird deviant practices and a general sad existence. A weak man is controlled by lust. A strong Strong man is able to control his lust. Though Pearl did make a good point about dating apps being just as bad for women as well as social media. Dating apps are also forbidden for Muslims, again because they promote intimacy outside of marriage. I have to say social media has its benefits in terms of making money and as we have seen in regards to Palestine when it comes to challenging false narratives and propaganda. Though I get what she is saying, social media has definitely corrupted modern women for the worst when used to serve their egos and again has detrimental effects in terms of a lack of modesty, nudity and fidelity addiction and mental health problems. Peril stated that Candace's call for a ban on pornography was unrealistic on a government regulation level. However, the same could be said about Peril's proposed solution of compulsory arranged marriages. Islam has a solution. If Sharia law was implemented on a government level, pornography would be completely banned, as would intimacy out with marriage problem solved ladies. Pero did say to our live chat she's not asking for Sharia and the irony is that the solution to her dilemma is actually Sharia law. Be careful what you wish for. Islam provides the answer Catholicism can't to both these Catholic ladies, with all due respect. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free telegram group via the link in the description where we as Muslims can speak freely and without censorship about issues like this and in order to guide and support each other in our deen. Until next time inshallah, Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar Allah Allah